on YouTube. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Syl. Welcome. So today is the day that I'm going to be finally repotting my monstrous Pelia. It has so many points of growth. It's grown tremendously over the uh, period that I've had it now, which, how old are you now? Maybe about one and a half years old. So far I've repotted this guy a couple times now. Um, and I've noticed that they like to be repotted. So a lot of the points where the new leaves start to grow has been like a little bit wonky, like pretty slow. Um, but when I was away for a couple weeks, I noticed when it, once I got back that um, it had some burn marks on its leaves. So um, kind of glad that it's winter time now-ish. I know people are going to be like, what, what do you mean? We like our sun but i do in fact get a lot of light coming into my place so okay here's the pot that i'm going to be repotting this guy into um it looks like a pretty huge upgrade but it's only a 10 inch pot versus this is an eight inch pot so i really like that this pot has lots of drainage holes very big drainage holes as well as at the bottom so i just rinsed this guy down and now it's time to transfer I think there's probably about like 20 points of growth now at this point um, out of this one pot. I really love a full bushy bushy plant um, so I never separated them and I still won't separate them. I'm going to just keep it growing and growing to see how big I can actually get him. So um, once I repot it into a 10 inch pot, I probably won't repot it again for another you know year and a half or two years. Let's work on getting him out. I'm just going to massage around the pot slightly and then give a little bit of a tug on the largest uh, stems here. <laughs> I wish I had someone to help me. Oh, lean it on its side for now. I hope it doesn't like you know, pop out and then splash everywhere. That's gonna be crazy. Oh, here we go. Here we go, must have been really dry. And honestly, I recommend to uh, repot your plants when... <gasps> I don't even know what to say. I don't have any words. Check this out, guys. Look at all that, it's so compacted. These are the new shoots that are growing in all sorts of angles. Um, what the? This is looking crazy. There's like, there's at least 10 more new plants that have uh, new points of growth. So somehow I'm gonna try to reposition them to grow upwards um, as I kind of loosen up these roots. And then, uh, yeah, repot it into the 10 inch, clean it up a little bit. Um, but check it out, holy moly. This deserves a close up for sure. Whoa. Holy moly. Look at that. Okay, so first I'm just going to clean the top of the uh, soil here. Just get rid of any dead leaves. I've already done many checks to see if there are any uh, pests on my plant, but there aren't any, which are great, so just comes down to the cleaning up of this guy. Next, I'm going to just loosen up these roots a little bit with this chopstick that I have here. <laughs> okay, let's be a little bit gentle, jeez. I feel like I'm getting soil on my mouth. Okay. So if you're wondering, this is how they grow. Here's a little piece right there. Let's try water propagating this or popping this into soil as well with any of the ones that I break off. I'll be collecting them off to the side. guys and I knew this was going to be a big project that's why I 
waited so long to get this going. Without even checking its roots, I knew it was ready for a repot. Sometimes you can just tell, you know, when your plant needs a repot. Okay, so I now have officially uh, detangled those large stems or the large roots. So I'm just gonna loosen up the soil from the bottom carefully without hurting any roots. I always say carefully without hurting any roots, but I end up hurting a lot of roots. <laughs> okay, break down some of the soil. My client's her pilia was not growing um, whatsoever and it just wasn't looking good. It was really dull in color and all that. I uh, repotted her plant and it started thriving. It started uh, pushing out new leaves. It grew um, new little babies on the side. And yeah, it's now a very healthy plant. Okay, so there's that. That was easy. Okay, so I'm just going to uh, fill the bottom of the pot. I'm just gonna press it down with my fingers and make sure I'm uh, kind of poking holes in there as well as putting in some compression. Well, I like to do kind of these holes so that once I plant it into the pot, it, the roots can kind of establish itself a little bit easier. Who knows if that happens in there, but so far I do that with all my plants and they seem to root very quickly. Um, and even when I depot them out of their old pot, once the um, soil needs to be changed or anything, um, I notice that it's fully intertwined with the old soil as well as the new soil. So um, I definitely like doing that as opposed to like creating um, a base and then just slapping in the plant and then just backfilling and pressing around. Here is my plant. Let's see if that height is perfect. I'm just going to raise up the sides slightly as well. Okay, there it is. Ta-da! Officially in a larger pot. Oh my gosh, it looks so funny. It feels like it doesn't look the same anymore. Do you feel like that happens to you when you repot your plants? You're like, oh, whose plant is this? Okay, so I'm gonna toss it into the shower now and we'll see you later. So, uh, with these little guys, I'm just going to uh, plant directly into a new pot. Uh, which way is up? This way. <laughs> um, and these are the little ones that unfortunately uh, kind of fell off while I, while I was repotting it. I'm very excited to see what this is going to turn out to look like. Okay, so I'm just going to start off with about three quarters of the way full. Just kind of pressing it gently into the pot. I think it's okay to break off little bit as I plant them. Let's hope. It's so cute already. The ones that don't have any leaf growth yet, I'm kind of shoving it a little bit lower than um, the actual soil line. Okay, now I now I understand why people separate. 
it's kind of cute i can't lie and exciting as well because uh now you can look forward to growing a brand new plant of course and done here it is how cute so tiny all right time to clean up come back later all right so these guys just came out of their little showers some questions that i always get regarding my pilia is how do i keep it so i have it about four meters away from a south-facing window um it does get bright bright light all day water it when it's about 75 percent dry uh, they definitely do appreciate a little bit extra humidity uh, every plant loves extra humidity if you can give it extra humidity go ahead uh, they can receive a little bit of direct sunlight i would say east facing sun um, since it's the weakest level of direct sun is during sunrise so any of those east facing windows it's okay for it to receive a little bit of direct sun uh, in my opinion and in terms of the watering i like to feel the leaf i kind of also just look at the general state of the plant itself i'll always lift up the pot to see uh, how heavy it is or how light it is in order to determine the moisture levels of the soil i was definitely underwatering as you guys know i'm more of an underwaterer rather than an overwaterer um, and i usually always say it's better to be an underwaterer than an overwaterer because you can always rehydrate a plant most of the times they bounce back super quickly um, or bounce back super well just in general um, so yeah so with that being said I would water the plant 75 anywhere from 75 to 100% dry to be honest and I don't have any issues um, with that if you notice your leaves coming out a little bit more warped or curled um, it could mean that you're giving a little bit too little water. Healthy new growth generally uh, grows flat um, or actually grows in kind of like an oval shape and then will start to flatten out. Um, so yeah, any of the crinkles in there that usually means too little water. I'll keep you guys updated with how well it's growing um, and I'm super excited to see, you know, new shoots come up as well as see this guy go a little bit fuller. So. Hope you guys all have a great holiday and a great new year. Hope you have a safe and prosperous 2022. Thank you so much for watching again. Be sure to subscribe and comment um, any questions you have. And hit the thumbs up button if you like this video. And we'll see you later. Bye.